Hello everyone. Welcome to the Tenly Investor Channel. In the last three weeks, I have covered three different parts of Stan Weinstein stage analysis: stage one, stage two, stage three. And in this week, we're going to look at stage four, which is the most important stage in the entire life cycle of a stock. Now, if you have bought a stock at hundred, and if the stock went down to ninety, eighty, or seventy, and it kept averaging down, you are doing it completely wrong. That's not how you invest in stocks. And today, we're going to discuss especially this aspect. As to how to identify a stock which is starting a major downtrend, and how why you should avoid such stocks. So before we move forward in this video, I just wanted to let you know, in case you haven't watched the part one, part two, and part three of this Stan Weinstein stage analysis series, do watch it out because it's a prerequisite to understand this part of the series. Okay, so the last part of the Stan Weinstein series is the stage four analysis, which is nothing but a stock which is entering a downtrend, right? So that's going to be a last of this series. And let's get started. So, as always, <clears throat> the time frame uh, that this strategy is applicable is only for the weekly charts, and it's a long-term investing strategy. It is not a short-term trading strategy. So, you need trading view, moving average, and volumes to get started with the strategy. Okay. So, moving um, on to this stage four. Before we do that, let's do a recap of stage one, stage two, and stage three. Stage one is nothing but a stock which is going sideways. The key indicator is the 30-week moving average is going flat. And the stock is whipsawing around the 30-week moving average. Stage two is nothing but when a stock is rising, along with 30-week moving average, and 30-week moving average has to be sloping upwards. And stage three is nothing but when a stock is going sideways after a crazy move up, and the 30-week moving average is almost flat. Now that's a short recap of stage one, two, and three. Moving on to stage four, how do you identify a stock in stage four distribution or a markdown phase? Now. The rule is almost similar to what we had in stage one. You just have to apply that after a stock has moved up. For example, after a stock has moved up here, and then a stock is kind of going sideways, and then the stock starts dropping. Now remember, in stage one, we are looking at a stock which is going sideways and then breaking out. Stage four is completely opposite. The stock has to be going sideways and then it has to break down. Now, when a stock breaks down from this pivot point over here, now pivot point means a stock has gone up; it comes down and goes up. Now that's a pivot point. That's a pivot point. When the stock breaks down from that low point over there, that is when a stock is entering a stage four downtrend. Now this stage four downtrend needs to be also accompanied with a downward sloping 30-week moving average. Now here, in in stage two, you see a upward sloping moving average, and in stage four, we see a downward sloping moving average. Now that's the first important rule: 30-week moving average. Needs to be sloping downward. Now that's the most important rule. The next important rule is the stock needs to break the higher high, higher low structure. Now in stage two, a stock has been going up like this. Now we call this a higher high, higher low structure. Basically, a stock goes up, it comes down, goes up, comes down, goes up, and then comes down. And then in stage four, it has to do the opposite, exact opposite. A stock after going down, it went up. Now it's going sideways, and then the stock breaks down. It goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. Now that's called the lower high, lower low structure. So uh, any stock which is in downtrend will have this lower high, lower lower low structure, and any stock in uptrend will have a higher high, higher low structure. Now stage four is nothing but exact opposite of stage two. Okay, now that's the second point. Now the third point is during a stage four, uh, when when the stock is just starting a stage four downtrend. The stock will still be doing well in terms of fundamentals. Now, remember when I talked about stage one, I told you that the stock would be doing very bad. A lot of negative news around the company. No one be interested in stage one. But that's when you buy, right? And when you sell, it's exactly the opposite. Now, when a stock is really spoken about everywhere, when everything is wonderful, but the stock is breaking down and forming a lower high lower structure. That is when you need to sell the stock. Now that's a very important indicator for you to understand when to sell a stock. Remember, if everyone is talking about a stock, everyone is there in it, right? So you do not have to hold that anymore. And especially if your stage four is breaking, then definitely you shouldn't be holding that as an investment candidate. Now that's the rule number three. Now rule number four, as I said, the company might have the best of fundamentals at this point. Don't get fooled. We have had so many cases. RT drugs. We had Noyland Laboratories. We've had so many different stocks in the pharma sector in 2021, which were doing so well. Everyone thought it would do amazing, and then the pharma numbers came in, and the stock was stocks were already in a downtrend, right? Now that's what I say. Don't get fooled 
buy great news news around any company uh, in, in terms of fundamentals now the last point i want to say is when our stock has risen so much and a stock is going sideways the risk here the probability of the stock going down is much more than the probability of a stock going up right why do i say that because in case of cupid the stock has already risen from 5 to almost 200 levels and now if someone is buying at 200 that is pure stupidity right because you cannot expect the stock to go even much higher from here so the risk of you losing money is much higher when the stock has already risen so much so when a stock especially is doing this do not be fooled into buying the stock looking at all the fundamentals right because the risk here is that the stock there's a higher probability of the stock going down than the stock going up so even if you invest and stock goes up 20 percent it's not worth the risk that you can take so if you're looking for investment you're looking for 100 200 300 percent returns you're not looking for 20 percent moves right so that's the last point i want to tell you so always we have to ensure uh, that after a stock has run up and it's going sideways the downside risk is much higher and the upside risk is low so upside returns are low so always protect your capital and learn to play the odds right okay so that's some of the guidelines from Stan Weinstein stage four and some of my inputs as well. So what you should not do in stage four is holding onto a stock after it has broken down from here. So it's okay to hold on somewhere here, but do not hold the stock when it almost is there, right? You are just going to lose more and more money. Now remember you bought a stock at 100, the moment it goes to 95 and you realize it's stage four, it's better to exit 95 rather than exiting it when it's 70, right? So you bought a stock at 100, it's better to exit 95 than exiting the stock at 70. Right? So exit in the first sign of loss. It's okay if you're in losses. Just exit and get out. There are hundreds of stocks which can do well, which can make you money. So keep that in mind always. So next rule is uh, what you should not be doing is once the stock has fallen here and broken the support, do not think that the stock will again rise up and go back and break out. That's just hope and faith. Do not do that. Also one point to remember is when a stock breaks down here, it's most likely that the volume also will be low and just because the volume is low, don't think the stock is going to rise up again. Now, Stan Weinstein clearly says in his videos, in his book, that breakdown to stage four doesn't necessarily mean strong volume, right? So Stan Weinstein clearly says that in his book. And there are so many stocks where the breakdown happens with low volumes and then volumes pick up later in the stock when the stock starts falling further, right? So do not make that mistake. And finally, don't get fooled by all positive news. But what you should be doing is, you should promise to yourself that you will never buy a stock in stage four, that's also what Stan Weinstein says. Promise to yourself, take an oath that you will never buy a stock after it breaks down from a higher, high, low, higher low structure and it enters a downtrend and it enters stage four. Okay, so that's very, very important for you um, to take a promise for yourself so that you don't lose much money. Okay, now remember this entire Stan Weinstein's concept is not a foolproof strategy. So it's quite possible the stock comes down and then it rises and goes way up because of some other factors in the company. So the only rule that I want to tell you today is to not buy stocks in stage four. And this can save a lot of your money and also a lot of your mind because when you're in losses, you're under too much of stress and that's probably going to help you if you follow this rule. So let's take some examples today. So some of the examples I have is one is from Aarti Drugs. So we saw stage two break out here. The stock had a massive uptrend and then we saw stage three sideways and then the stock broke down at this point. Now at this point, you can see already the 30 week moving average is sliding down and it broke down below the weekly pivot low, right? The stock was an uptrend. It started going up, down, up, down, and now it broke that support over there, right? Now that's a very key support level over there. And the stock broke down, went sideways, and again it broke down. Now remember to see the volumes here are not much. Now that's very important to understand. Everyone thinks that stage four stock breakdown means volumes are less. Stocks do go down on less volumes. It's very important to understand that. Okay, and then the 30 week moving average started declining and the stock went all the way down. Now you see we had spikes of volume here, but the stock continued to down, go down. Now it's very important to understand that you should not be dying, buying a stock until again it starts entering stage two, right? So once you sell here, do not touch the stock until you have a stage two breakout again. Another example is Noyland Laboratories. So we had a stage two breakout, uptrend, 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 and then we had a breakdown. And again, see our volumes are not much compared to the up volumes. And then the stock started going sideways and again started cracking, right? But now finally, Noyland has again entered into a stage two uptrend, which is good, but do not buy stocks which are in stage four downtrend. Okay, so that's what I wanted to cover today. And that brings us to the end of the stage analysis series uh, by Stan Weinstein. I hope you enjoyed this entire series. If you did enjoy, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well. I'm gonna leave you here. Take care, stay safe, trade safe. 
Until I see you in another video. Bye-bye.